Today we're going to be inside walking around and seeing all the tools for sale. And yes, there are quite a few of them. Uh, so yesterday, Friday, we were supposed to be outside, but we were rained out and so we had to do uh, some of that inside. But today on Saturday, this is the main event. We're all going to be coming in here and uh, selling some tools. So I have uh, a few tables to take you around and show you what all is available. Um, yeah, this is going to be a fun one. So if you have any questions or see anything you want to know more about, put those in the chat and I will uh, I'll try and get to them. So you do have to be a member to come to the MWTCA um, to meet. And once you're a member, then you will get invites to uh, come to later ones. Um, you have to be a member and then you have to uh, pay to enter at the door um, because the, the membership it gets you a bunch of other items such as uh, uh, some publications and things throughout the year as well as invites to the different meets um, and then you pay at the door so that we can all uh, pay for the space and other things provided but uh, yes this is the best place in the entire south to buy hand tools is at this particular meet that happens once a year uh, and there are meets like this across a lot of the U.S. Um, if you want to find out more about other places to buy hand tools around you, I have a website called handtoolfinder.com, um, handtoolfinder.com, and I have a map of every place I know of around the world to buy hand tools, as well as a list of online sellers that I trust and know. So let's actually get to the main event and uh, take a walk around what all we've got here. Morning, how's it going? So there are a few people who haven't set up their tables yet, and uh, hopefully we'll be uh, coming back to some of these. So let's see what we've got in here. Some gent saw, spoke shave, playing, kicked it into the handle. That's pretty. Some levels, Addy. Marking gauges. You can never have enough marking gauges. Plumb bobs, chisels, wrenches, hammers. At least a couple hundred. Uh, bring all your cash. Yeah, yeah. So we've got some saws. Uh, this one, this was really interesting. Uh, this one, the face here is a square to the back of the saw. And so it's got levels as well. So you can use it as a level um, as well as a square. And then in here, there's all you can pull out. And with that, you can actually scribe your line in the back. So you can use this to mark your line and then cut it. A really cool saw. This one's, this one's really interesting because the grain is running this way on it as opposed to this way. You know, all of the other saws, almost every saw you've ever had, the grain runs across the saw this way. But this one, they reshaped it to run this way. So you've got to be careful you don't snap it here and break this off. Some interesting collections here. I'll try and point out some of the uh, the cool things that I've learned and seen today. Bought about 500 and left with 80. Some great deals. <laughs> I love these uh, brass braces. Don't say that five times fast. Brass braces. <laughs> Let's see what we got over here. Yeah, let's come down this table first. And here we've got some files and bits. Oh, I've been eyeing, here's a Stanley 50. I don't have a Stanley 50, I have a 45 and a 55. Um, but Stanley 55 is the small brother. It does Basically, anything that the 45 will do. It, it's, a, it's a very versatile small plane, um, but usually comes as uh, beads and sometimes with the, the straights on. There's another guy who had a full set yesterday, uh, but this one, I think he was asking 65 for it. Yeah, 65. Big old plow plane. Number five, a whole bunch of marking gauges. If I miss your comment or you have a question, go ahead and throw them in there. There's always a bunch of uh, books and publications for sale. This is, I, I used to come here to buy tools to use, and then I came to buy tools to show in videos, and now I come to learn. So there's just so much that you, you can learn from some of these old tools. There's a number one. 240. There are three or four number ones here today, so I'll point those out. And of course, there's coffee and muffins, drinks. Let's see what we got in here. Measuring devices, marking devices, calipers. 
What is that? Is that a pneumatic drill? You asked me or you recording? Um, uh, recording. Uh, unless you know. Is it's it? a metalizer. It sprays metal. Oh, metalizer. I learned something new. Flywheels. And I was thinking about this one, the crank and all. Wisconsin, I think. I'm going to have to look that one up later. Knives, mallets, small carving set. Yeah, these are fun block planes so you can flip it around. So you have the bull nose right up here. Flip it around and you have your regular block plane size. Is this a burnisher? It's a burnisher for card scrapers. Scrapers. Yeah. Scrapers. So this way you can burn it straight up again and sit and it'll roll it over to that little bit of an angle. That's kind of cool. In Germany. We need to get one. Oh, this this tap is really interesting because the the threads here, and rather than having a channel for it to come in along the threads, it forces all of the offshoot into the core here and spits out. Cutting edge. Oh, isn't that two? One, two? I think, well, yeah, but I'm, I mean, it's... Oh, yeah, it's interesting, yeah. Compared to the old ones. Four corners. There's a fit in there. That's pretty. There are a ton of spare parts of these. Yeah, there's there's actually a table over here that has all spare parts. Oh, this is really cool. This is a this is a patent plane that has the has oiling holes in here. So you have these caps underneath that will store the oil and oil the plane for you so it runs smoother. I I, I wanted to see if there, I can do something like that. That's that, that's kind of it's, it's an interesting idea. Axes and heads. Here is a beautiful Stanley 55, original box, cutter sets. Yeah, it even has the screwdriver, the most valuable thing in the box. That is pretty. That is really pretty. Let's see. The old Stanley is everyone. Is that a rebrass? Someone recast that? I don't know. It was common, like, someone would steal, well, didn't steal, they'd borrow someone else's plane and then recast it, but you usually cast some brass because it'd be easier. Here's a, a dowel maker. This one's on my list. But the cutters are usually more valuable than the whole rest of the, the dowel maker. But you can feed it through here, and it, the dowel can actually go through the shaft, so you can do a, whatever length you want as opposed to a tenon cutter that's only a few inches long. Uh, uh, how much were you wanting for the 55? Do you know? I don't think he has a price on it, so. Yeah, there was a 55 yesterday that was, um, just had one cutter, um, but it sold for 80 bucks, and I thought that was a pretty decent price. There were a half dozen 55s and 45s sold yesterday. Oh, this one's cool. This is a chamfer plane. This one's on my list one of these days. Those are fun. You actually move this whole nose up and down to adjust how deep a chamfer you want. Oh, check these out. Old shop class. Um, instructional panels so you could hang up and teach. Do you have to be an MWTC member? Yes, you have to be an MWTC member to come to one of these. Uh, and the reason you have to be a member is, um, is for tax reasons. They don't have to mess around with, with tax if you're selling in membership, um, as well as um, there's, a, there's a bunch of uh, uh, legal issues for insurance and things like that that the membership covers. In the middle, hey, that guy in the middle had one. Um, let's come on back over here. Get out the next row. Ooh, scraper plane. Here's a 605 bedrock. Ooh. 
Damn. Those are often worth more than the plane. <laughs> There's a whole set. There are a lot of saws here today, and most of these are really nice ones for like 12, 15, 20 bucks. Some really good ones in here. Then this box yesterday was completely full. They've sold probably about 75% of all the saws that were in here, all these back saws. And some of them was as low as $5 and up to like 50, 55 bucks for back saws. There were probably a good 50, 60 of them in there. Uh, I don't know of a tool sale in the event, but I do have on the map several places where you can buy antique tools on uh, in the UK. I actually went to one while I was there. So here we've got Stanley number eight. This one's in nice shape. Yeah, this is like a type, is that a type one? Ooh, that's a type one. So that one's rare. We got 776. Some sergeants. Four and a half. Let's see what we got up here. Small tenon cutter. Some block planes. And these are fun. You get the, the squirrel tail attachment that goes under the, the block planes here. There's some cool braces. I love these. Crosscut saw. And let's come on down here. Spoke shaves. Plow planes. More regular planes. There's a cool little chariot plane. Have you seen any Stanley ones? Yeah, I just showed a Stanley one a couple minutes ago. There's there's uh, three or four of them here. I'll point them out when I come. No, oh, sorry. Don't fail much. Yeah, here is the. Uh, uh, here's a, a beam drill. So you use this for um, for timber framing, cutting out your mortises. These are a lot of fun. I've got one. I've gotten a few times to use it. Uh, check out all these little wooden planes. Those are fun. Some rules. Hammers. Some more. Oh, here's a uh, here's a Tim. He's on sale today. Tim's are awesome. I'm the most expensive thing here. Yeah, he wishes. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. This guy, this guy signed up to uh, pick me up at the airport. So huge thank you, Tim. You're welcome. <laughs> Let's see, we got. Oh, here's here's the parts guy, and so we've got parts and parts and parts. I paid sixteen hundred. Let's see if that is that depth stop still here. I'm probably gonna come back and grab it. Yeah, yeah. Little depth stop. Been looking for that one. But yeah, you want the parts. I know about my work has And more parts. And uh, here's the uh, people have been asking for these Stanley 45 knobs with the threaded inside. Yeah, you can't find fences for 78s. So and he's got one, two, three, four, five, six of them there. And then I bought I bought one yesterday. <laughs> Then he's got a bucket of spoke shaves, scraper planes, wrenches. Everyone's asking for 45 and 55 cutters. Here's a few you can dig through. And then here's a bucket of 45 and 55 cutters. Oops, sorry. So yeah, dig through this. Three bucks a piece. There's a whole bunch of lever caps. So you always got to look underneath the tables because there's not enough space on top of the tables. Got some wrenches here. Come around this way. Sorry. Scrub plane. I gave those to Kano. He sold them for me. I finally got myself a but an actual scrub plane last year. But the other really low angle block plane. Check that out. Some of mine. Number two. A dual brace. Yeah, you This needs to go for a bunch of really cool levels. Some of these ivory and like. Yeah, for really fine detail cutting.
You've got this saw. Give you an idea how big this thing is. There's an axe in front of it. <laughs> Gotta love old dis display signs. Wow, and you couldn't get them to sign up, right? Yeah. And let's see what we got over here. Ooh, here is your number six, isn't it? Number 62, sorry. These, a few years ago, were, you know, 70, 80, 100 bucks. And now they're like 250, 300. What is this one? 385. They're, they're just, because of all the power tool people getting into hand tools, everyone's like, ooh, low angle, low angle, low angle's the best, low angle's amazing. And these have just gone crazy in price because they're people trying to snap up the old ones. So we got uh, Stanley 10 and a quarter. And what are you? Oh yeah, you're five and a quarter. So slightly shorter than a five, slightly thinner than a five. Another bedrock, an early 605 bedrock. Check out the burl on this. That is pretty. If I'm jumping over anything you want to see, let me know and I'll try and go back for it. Number 85. Scraper plane. Wish I had that a couple years ago. Here's some number twos. Here's a whole bunch of spoke shaves. Some nice cigars. Small planes. Levels. Burnishers. Nice old chisel. I was given another chisel for the chisel test. Looking forward to showing that off. This is a knife used for marking um, lumber or, or logging. So they could actually use this to scoop out a channel or a race knife um, so they could write into the, the logs. Some old saw nuts. Hey Tim, how's it going? A whole bunch of uh, planes here. Uh, block planes, some levels, some collector signings. Sorry? Lanterns. And here's more of the uh, the parts. Just seeing all of these 78 fences. Uh, I've honestly never seen a 78 fence on its own before. And then I come here and he had like eight, eight or nine of them yesterday. So he's got a box of block planes. I have to look through that. There's some down there. Yeah, when you have a, a double-headed nail, this is what you use. Duplex nail, that, there you pull it with that. Uh, here's another number one. With a uh, box made for it. Um, there were a few router planes yesterday. Most of them have sold. There was one I saw that came out this morning. Now, uh, here you've got... Here you've got fences, and you get these for your Stanley 45 so that they could do hollows and rounds. Hey, have fun? Let's see what we got over here. I'm trying to mention prices if I see that they're interesting, but if you see something you want to know a price on, let me know and I'll take a look at it. But I just don't have time to show all the prices unless they're easily posted. Here is the bits. And all prices here are negotiable. Like this is listed 40 bucks. But you know, depending upon what you talk to, you might get down to 30, I don't know. Uh, so prices are listed, but everything is negotiable. Uh, plow planes. Let's see, what do we got? Oh, these are fun. Numbers. So this is actually a side rabbit plane, so you can clean out the, the side walls of a groove or a rabbit. And one, one blade goes either way, so you can plane them this way, or you can flip it around and you can plane this way. 
There's a bunch of different versions of that, and I've got one. Need yourself a fan with leather blades. Um, no, I haven't seen any. Well, no, he did have some spare router blades at that, that parts table back there. I saw a couple in there. He had some uh, some half inch. How much is that side rabbit? Um, I had the number on there. What, 75 bucks? 75 bucks. Austria, how's it going? Yeah, here's a nice wrench for you. When you really need to influence something to move, there's a wrench. Some jeweler's lathes. This is a beautiful old plane, incredibly heavy. It's made straight from the heart of the wood. You can see that right here. Some plow planes. Some slicks. Uh, this brace with a full set of locking bits. Another number two. But then, uh, Sergeant. That was so nice of you to bring her coffee. Some carving chisels. Uh, here's another compass plane. And a few of those. Uh, I think Tim bought one yesterday. Oh, check out these napped knives. Those are beautiful. I mean, that's a skill I'd like to learn someday, napping. That is gorgeous. Ooh. Here's a beautiful set of firmer chisels. Check those beasts out. Having fun yet? <laughs> so let's see, uh, let me show you what we've got. So far we've done that table and this table, and now we're gonna go up and down this, and then up and down this, and then up and down that. So we're, what, two-fifths of the way done. Some hardware. Here's an old bench screw. Check that out. Double, double wall. Wax molds. Hot water circling. Clamps. Rice molds. Oh, rice molds. Yeah. Oh, really? I learned that from this gentleman over in the brown sweater. Huh. Yeah, he, he bought some. Didn't know what they were either. I thought they were butter molds. So he... Um, Look it up and Rice molds. That's one of the things I like about coming here is you always get to learn new things. Some irons to pick through. That's that's why I, I come to these now is there's just so much to learn. Braces and bits. Looking for irons. Cap irons. Regular irons. Uh, we are in Madison, Georgia. If you're in the area, we are in the uh, the Lions building. You have to be a member to come in, but you can become a member at the door. All sorts of fun things here. Now here's a whole other box of irons. Chip breakers. Some saw sets. I've seen a bunch of saw sets here. Um, some braces will allow you to use a hex bit, some braces will not. It all depends on the mechan mechanism inside and how it was made. Um, every brace is a little bit different. There's a beautiful Stanley. Now these are uh, skewed block planes, but this side panel can come off so that you can get right up next to the side here. I've got one of these, but my uh, side plate's missing. Uh, yeah, most of the old wooden braces actually uh, would have their own weird bit, and so you can't use um, you can't use those. Uh, you can't use modern bits on those. Check out this carving set. This is absolutely gorgeous. What is that Stanley blue? Um, oh, this is the uh, the Handyman series. So later on, Stanley made the Handyman series. It was a slightly cheaper version. Um, so they went steel backs, completely functional, just cheaper. The handles were, were cheaper made, and then they, they painted them in blue. But as a user, it's really not a bad flame. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's that's a very pretty set. What is he asking? 175 for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that's like just over $10 a piece. That's a fantastic price for a carving set. That's pretty. Bits and pieces and parts. Let's come on over here. There, the there were several sellers who were here yesterday who are gone today. And there's a few that are going to be leaving early today, so I'm trying to get in as many as I can. Some keyhole saws. These are fun because the, the blade actually goes all the way through. So you can extend into the blade just as much as you need. Spoke shaves. Chisels. Oh, check out these. Some corner chisels. Yeah, at what point is a chisel a chisel and a, a slick a slick? Because that one's that one's almost slickish, but almost chiselish. Right here. Chisels, files, some interesting hair cutting stuff. There's a, uh, where would those go? Yeah. Um, anyone want nutcrackers? Oh, these are interesting. You see these at occasional meets, and people ask him, what are these? These are actually whip stands. So when they would sell whips, old riding buggy whips, in the stores, they would hang them up on this, and they could display all their whips hanging on that. Here's some old shaving. Uh, actually, I bought, yesterday I bought 35 of the shaving blades, the, the razors, just the, the steel, and I'm going to, I'm going to make a cover for one of them, and then I'm going to sell the rest of the blades and do a build-along series where we can all build our own straight blade uh, razor covers. So that's going to be kind of fun. Here is a big old number seven, early one. In Ohio for 75 bucks. Here's a nice compass plane. This is the earlier style with the uh, the depth adjuster on the side. 95. For a user, that's not great. It works, but yeah. double-ended wrench. Molding planes, lots of molding planes. Scraper plane. Oh, check these out. These are uh, maple syrup taps. So you'd be able to tap this into the tree, hang your bucket on here, and the syrup will pour out this way. Don't we all, Tim? Don't we all? <laughs> Block planes. These are tongue and groove planes. So, one way it cuts the tongue, and the other way it cuts the groove. Hundred thirty-five bucks for that one. Oh, here's a beautiful end plane, end fill. Number six, an aluminum five. Aluminums are fun. They feel really weird to use. Some Stanley bed rocks. There's a Winchester number seven, 135. Is this uh, Stanley 98 and 99 matched planes? Here's another Stanley 55. All the cutters and the screwdriver. Uh, yeah, the screwdrivers are hard to find. What is he asking for this one? 165 for all the cutters and a 55. That's not a bad deal at all. Here is a, uh, a grooving plane. Some big old jacks. Scraper. A uh, Stanley 91 dual marking gauge, mortise and gauge. 112 scraping plane. Here's a couple of compass planes. That's another one of those old style. Uh, Tim bought the one that was in between these two yesterday. There's a router plane for you. Oh, this tap and die 
is incredibly heavy. This is a, a brass thread cutting box. Really cool. That one's interesting. About a, a one inch thread. Having fun yet? Oh yeah. <laughs> Some levels. Oh, if you guys haven't seen, Tiller is here too, so hi. say hi. Is Alan watching? What's that? Is Alan watching today? I don't know. Alan, are you on here? Probably skiing. <laughs> yeah, he probably is. <laughs> I haven't seen him comment yet. Oh, he's gone. There were a couple tables here. He had some great things yesterday. Oh, he's packing up. He's getting ready to sell. So he's got some things we'll be catching up over here. Oh, these, these are surveyor chains, basically old tape measures. Um, and so this was an exact length. And so they could string this out and know it was this distance. And then some of them would have markers along the chain so you could know how far you are along the chain. So old school tape measure, kind of cool. Three dollars each. Three dollars each. Three dollars each. Three dollars each. Anyone need any keys? Old soldering irons. You'd heat these up. They'd hold a lot, and then you could actually solder with the tip. Look at that bedrock number two. Who? Ah, I, I have no idea. Four hundred bucks. Good. Let's say if it's corrugated, that's another number two. Now we Oh, check out this old miter box. If you see anything you want me to go back to, holler and I'll check it out for you. Small set of Irwin bits. I'm going to have to pan up because i got to walk around these here. Ends and acts and brick and brick and there's a... Uh, there's a uh, double boiler, so you can do your high glue in that. Oops. Sorry, too many people here today. Let's see if I can get around here. Excuse you me. You can tell with this because you too many pictures. It takes it takes How much glue over. has been in that pot? That's a fun countersink bit. <laughs> Here we go, some German planes. Yeah. Good saying, you son. Hugh and Hatchet. Bunch of books. Fine woodworking. Worksmith. Woodsmith. Scales. Some more planes. Lots of molding planes. Let's see, where are we at? See if I missed any questions. No, we're good. Bevel gauges. There's another old 45. Comes with a set of irons. What's he asking? 200. That's a, that's a really early one. Panel gauge. I want to make another panel gauge here soon, one with a, with a full tote. A couple smaller panel gauges. Knobs, eight bucks a piece. Oh, check out this mahogany. The grain on this is just incredible. Beautiful piece. Some more molding planes. Then we have some plow planes. Some levels. We got more saws for sale, more hand saws. So we got over here. Big chisels, small slicks. Would that be a nice? That would be. How's it going? No, I don't know who. 
full set of router bits, or no, 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 no auger bits. There was someone who had a gorgeous set of auger bits yesterday. Is it? Did I miss it? Yeah. Those, those are pristine. Yeah, I was thinking about it, but I offered my hundred. Some scrapers. Oh yeah, these 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 tools. Um, I, I haven't quite figured out. These all have ropes on them, and I don't know what these ropes are for. But uh, check this out. This is a plane with a router attachment, basically. <laughs> Aren't those pretty? So we got a couple power planers. There's a big one down there. Now check out this beam drill. This is a monster, crusty, crusty monster. That would be fun to take apart and restore. Oh yeah, then we got the, uh, the eager beaver here. And this, showed this one off yesterday. This one has the, the, bla the plate, whoop, pan up, sorry. Has the plate on this side and this side, so you can push left or right. That's kind of cool. Hacksaws galore. Okay, let's come on over here. Yep, I mean, some of hammers, really hammers, handles, hatchets, axes, and hatchet heads. Yeah, just amazing. Some saw sets. Yeah, Plum bobs. That's my go-to hammer. Now uh, these are, are spiders for checking the set on old crosscut plates. So you set down, if you set down a flat surface, it'll rock side to side just a little bit. And that will let you know that the blade is bent over to the side just a certain amount per set. Some more hand saws for sale. First one was 1850 and the next one was Yep, everything you're seeing here is for sale. This is the, the biggest tool sale in the South, but there are quite a few coming up for the rest of the U.S. We have a whole bunch more hand saws, panel saws, marking gauges, miter squares or unsquares. Uh, See what else we got. Some more chisels and more chisels. Axes. Ooh, a Stanley number two C. C meaning it is corrugated. Ooh, okay. I might come back for this. I, uh, I don't have one for my 45. I just did a video wanting to show that off and didn't have one. Bunch of great users needing a little bit of restoration. Some rabbit planes. Squares. Knives. Dividers. Scrapers. Oh, he's gone. They had a Stanley 50 here with uh, with all of the blades yesterday. I wish I had that. Have you seen a Stanley? 750. I don't know what a 750 is. Sorry? I don't have all the numbers memorized. <laughs> Check out this. It's a food chopper. So you crank the handle and the bucket would rotate. There's actually a pusher down here that will push the bu bucket forward. See, so we've got a set of center bits. Uh, you do not have the rest of the camera. Oh, the old chisel set. Um, yeah, I think I saw one of those earlier. I think it's on the next table, or a uh, table at the end here. Is this a... Nope, just a normal one. Oh. An old measuring wheel. Yeah, check out this gun. <laughs> Full.
revolver barrel. Old musket. Big old spoon bits. This is pretty. This is a uh, this is a master plane. So each of these have a different curvature, and you put a different sole on here with a different iron, and this would create your hollow. So you could create a hollowing plane with this, and then you take your hollow plane and you'd make your matched um, round plane. And so this would be the the master plane you could make them with. <laughs> Little little planes. There's some pretties. Come on. Oh, there's a pretty plow plane. If it's kind of not going through all the way. Bone tips. Get that right there to help drive. Will that work? Some turning tools, more spoke shaves, levels. Check out this old fro. That's like a really good show. This old fro. <laughs> An old cabinet scraper. Chopping axe. Let's see, there's something over here I was looking, oh yeah, yeah, I'll show that in a moment. Here we got some fun molding planes and others. Really delicate planes. Uh, check out this crown molding plane here. Big old thing, give you an idea of size. It's a very big thing. The, uh, Record 44. Then we've got, oh, this is a, uh, um, a spill plane. Just keeping my eye on this one. I might come back for it. We'll see. Ah, here's another low angle 62. What's he asking on this one? 295. That's actually one of the lowest prices I've seen in a while. 295. It's crazy how expensive those things have gotten. Oh, this beast is crazy huge, this. This thing is, is, is like, oops, sorry, hand down. There we go. It's It's got to be a good 10 pounds. No, that's more than 10 pounds. It's like a good 15 pounds. Huge casting. That's, that's massive. Here's a fun drill. Jeweler saws. Four and a half with the box. Wow, four and a half with the box. Really nice case, really nice condition. Sextant, some uh, uh, compasses. Yeah, he's cleaning out the boxes here. Come around to this side. Yeah, these are fun to dig through. Because each one of these plates is marked, you know, one for a dollar, seven dollars each, twelve dollars each. I bought quite a few things out of these. Actually, I got all of these straight razor blades out of one of these. Here's a spinning uh, cutter. Some nice braces. Chisels. More chisels. Oh, that's an, holy cow, that's a big handle. That is a huge handle. Lots of nuts. Panel saws. Plow plane irons. Little block plane. Some more plow planes. Uh, here is a gourd. Almost original condition. Older number six. This is an early one. Yeah, this is like a, a type three. 110 bucks. 75, 60 bucks. Number sixes. Plow planes. Here's a cool set. Carving chisels. 240 bucks. Check out the grain on this mallet. 
That's pretty. Oh, dude, that is that is totally slick. Sorry, I had to do that one. Chisels. A couple planes and boxes. Some more braces. A saw of ice. Oh, yeah, here's another burnisher. 45 for that one. Another plow plane. Electric sander, braces, plumb bob. More molding planes. Let's see, what do we got over here? Odd one. What's that? This is an odd one. What is that? Sugar refractometer. A sugar what? Refractometer. A sugar refractometer. Mm -hmm. Oh, you put the sugar in and it lets the you light come through? You, you go out in your grove, you put a little bit of orange juice on there. And uh, from the orange off the tree, close that, look through the look through the eyepiece there, and it tells you what uh, how much sugar's in the orange juice, and tells you whether your oranges are ready to <laughs> or not. Yeah, that's funky. <clears throat> a sugar refractometer. That's a new one. A new one for me. <laughs> if you're a great man, this is a thing to have. Yeah. Four, five, five. Let's see what we got over here. We've got some knives. Uh, do you work in the uh, orange groves? Oh, uh, here's a. Uh, oh, it's a record with the box. What's he asking? 100 bucks for that one. It has the depth stop, everything on there in the box for 100 bucks. That's actually a pretty decent deal. Let's see, we've got another empty table. Uh, there is a gorgeous slide roll. And tomatoes, interesting. Panel saws. Spile bits. Another brace. Oh, yeah, here's... Probably. Sewing machine, leather belt, squares, braces, hacksaw, level, molding planes. Sounds like a deal, Boo. Orders engage. Ooh. Anybody wants a typewriter? Collection of planes. There's another uh, router plane. Old white, old hag's tooth. Is that a tonguing plane? No, just a tongue split. Big buck saw. Okay, let's see. That was the. That's the main of the tool sale. But we have some shows over here. So here's a collection of knives. A lot of different uh, tobacco knives throughout the years and how they've changed. That's kind of interesting. These ones, these here are corn knives. Check these out. So you clamp this on your leg, put your heel into here, and you can kick and cut the stock, cutting the corn. Down. Here's a plumb bob collection. Plum bobs are absolutely amazing. Some of these are incredibly ornate and cool. How they came. Have you ever seen Frank Klaus's shop? He has a cool collection of these too. I saw these getting set up. I was like, ooh, is Frank here? Some of these are just huge. And then these uh, double pulley ones are kind of interesting. So it's a double line with a pulley on the top rather than the wire coming out of the center. Well, some of it comes out of the center and some of it comes to both sides. It's beautiful. Marking gauges. This one's cool. This is a hat brim um, cutter. And so you can cut it off at a specific size so you could know how big a brim do you want on your hat. Tiny little wheel cutters. This is a really cool panel gauge. 
I like that one. With the, the locking mechanism, it's actually a cam. Oh, here, yeah, here's one. This is a, a six-sided marking gauge. That's really cool. Doesn't roll away on you. Just some fascinating things. Was that hand rotor bevel router plane still there? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, they went fast. Yeah, there was uh, there was one number 71 here. It was here the today, and it's gone already. Um, I have I've only seen I only saw three um, metal hand routers. There were a bunch of wooden hags tooth, but hand routers have kind of become the thing that everyone wants. This is a, this is going to be the discussion later today, the demonstration, uh, the uh, talk talking through the uh, couple different planes in their history. Tools used, automotive, there was some fascinating information. Brass hammers, yeah, check out this beast. <laughs> so these are, don't cause sparks if you're working in the mine. Um, also, they don't damage the steel. The brass will deform for that. There are some fascinating pieces in here, like this one with the uh, little casting bucket on it. Some of these are pretty. Oh, okay. This this is like this is this is amazing. These things are tiny reproductions, all functional tools. Uh, was that router bevel router still playing? The one guy who's joshing on the. No, he uh, he took that router down, so I, don't, I didn't see that one today. <laughs> yeah, these levels are actually to level. Ivory brace. Check out that. I mean, this is this is just I mean, to give you a scale. Here's you know a dime and a penny. Absolutely gorgeous. You ever had a rabbit plane? Well, here's a rabbit plane for you. Or I guess that's a bunny plane. Yeah, there's even bullets with that one. Give you an idea of size. Here's all the pieces for it. Oh, these are crazy cool. This one here, I took a picture of this one. This little one here. I mean, that's that's my finger. It's like a two millimeter wide blade. But plow planes, it's hard to hold the stable because these are so small. Absolutely gorgeous, tiny little tools. What's that? Yeah. You want to get this thing plated? Which is the best thing? Here, hey, come this way, yeah, yeah. Uh, Look at that. Look at that. That is incredibly cool. Functional planes. <laughs> that is cool. Thank you. So, yeah, uh, let's see. Did I miss anything? Oh, yeah, more apples over here. Um, let's come on over here. So, we got some more. And so I was in here. Be the man to talk to about getting the level Forty-five. put back in service. I've got a levels. I'm thinking it might be. Oh, here's a, a cool inclinometer. This one, the whole back turns. Well, before the Civil War, before the, yes, before the Civil War, but I think look at this one. The way it was made, the way I don't have a square, but I have a level. So let's turn my level into a square. As opposed to their very, very cool ones. So I would just, because I've, I've asked several people I know that collect all kinds of tools. Sorry. Some more levels. So, um, whoop, down, down, 
Down, down, down. There we go. Hey, I'm back. There is the pool tail. We did the whole walkthrough on this, and this is a fun one. Um, it is every year uh, at the end of January. And uh, we do the, the tool sale outside on Friday, and we come inside on Saturday. Um, on Saturday, there's also a tool talk where they talk through the history of a particular tool, and then there's a lunch. It's a great time to get to know other people and find out about tools. Uh, most people start coming to these because they want to buy a user, and then they find something they're collecting. And then there's the whole history of things, just being able to pick up something and say, what is this? Like uh, the, uh, the, the, the sugar um, tester. That was, that's cool. Things you never know. So, uh, yeah, this is a lot of fun. And if you have any questions or anything you'd like to see, let me know. Um, the next tool meet I'm going to be at is in February. It's in um, um, Milwaukee, um, St. Francis, uh, Mich Wisconsin. So uh, if you'd like to find meets like this in other places, there is a website I've set up, the handtoolfinder.com. And on there, um, at least every known place, every place I know of to buy hand tools, as well as reputable online sellers uh, and other groups and, and people like this around the world where you can you can find tool sales like this uh, a lot of the places. So, yes, uh, I think that is about it. And uh, until next time, have a wonderful day. Now i got to find the off button. Got that. There we go.